Welcome everyone to the Overwatch League 2022 season. The APAC Zone is here and I'm joined for the first time on the Overwatch League stream with Trid. Make sure you guys welcome Trid here on the Overwatch League. It's going to be his big debut alongside some of the rookies that we have coming up soon here, Trid. Thanks so much, Vicky. Is it? Am I co-opting a term if I say APAC back? Am I allowed to say APAC back if I've actually never been on this broadcast before? Or am I just stealing terms now? I don't even know. <laughs> Do not hear Trit but, uh, at the yeah. moment. Not too sure if there's something up with our comms. But uh, as we get that settled up, we are getting ready here for our last match of the day. You know what? Oh, Vicky? there you go. There oh, Trit, be, there you go. There was always going to be one <laughs> instance. There was going to be something that went wrong. There was always going to be something, but it's all fixed. Don't worry about it. I was just uh, remarking on how is it appropriate for me to say APAC back if I've never been on this broadcast before. I don't want to steal the terminology and start co-opting stuff now. No, never, trade. And you know what? We always have to have at least that one muted stream once. Avril did it. You know what? Well, now we have to do it too. We have to stay true yeah. to the brand here. But it's really great to be alongside each other here for our very first APAC weekend. Let's take a look at the lineup that we have coming up so shortly for the series that we're going to be ending the APAC day with. Of course, we talked about it before. It's the Soul Dynasty versus the Hangzhou Spark. Soul Dynasty, I got a lot of stonks into this team. It's interesting because they got Smurf, the only tank on this team. And we already know what Smurf magic could really bring, uh, bring this team together and make everything come alive. Yeah, I think it's really interesting going to be change of pace for Smurf. If you remember previously in the San Francisco Shock roster, sharing a lot of main tank time with uh, Super, now is in the only position where he has to play tank all the time. I don't think that's going to be to Smurf's detriment, though. I think they're an incredibly talented player, and I'm expecting them to really shine in the current meta, especially considering we're seeing so much Winston. Now looking on the other side of the coin, the Hangzhou Spark. Let's take a look at their starters because unlike the Soul Dynasty, we know that the Sparks got a lot of cards up their sleeve. Looking at Shy, Alpha Yi, Bernard, Irony, and Super Rich. Dodd highlight the support rookie lineup as well as Alpha Yi out here, one of the other rookie players. The Spark just basically having all the rookie players coming in from Billy Billy Gaming. And I think that's one of the strengths of the organization, right, Vicky? They've been able to pull players from their contenders team, really get the benefit of the path to pro system. And of course, that means we've got a lot of hype coming in for some of these rookies with proven playtime. I know everyone's getting pretty excited about the damage lineup of Shy and Alpha Yi coming into this season. So I'm expecting big things from them in this first series. That's yeah, crazy. We, we talk about Soul a little bit. We highlighted Smurf, of course, being the only tank on that team. You take a look at the other side of the coin with Spark. They got 4 DPS and 3 tanks crit. Spark has been putting in a lot of work, though, to improve their team communication, get through those language barriers. And what I'm excited to see here um, is I feel like this is going to be a really good display of what we could expect, potentially, against Spark versus the Shanghai Dragons, which will be their next series. I believe that's going to be tomorrow. So after what we have witnessed for our first series between Fusion and Dragons, I don't even know what to expect at this point, Trid. I've been told when it comes to push to expect chaos, expect yes. really fast-paced games. <laughs> and with this being one of the new game modes, if you're tuning in for the first time, you haven't had a chance to get hands-on with the Overwatch 2 play-by-play -play, uh, PvP beta, unfortunately has just closed down for a bit. Um, this is a very fast and very swingy game mode. There's not a lot of back and forth when it gets into the later stages of this game. So it's all about the impact you make to begin with and what you're able to take control and, of course, wield control of throughout the beginning of the map. It's kind of a, a nice pacing compared to what we're used to with the, mm -hmm. the 40 plus minutes that we could see sometimes on 2CP. We don't talk about that. That's <laughs> Overwatch 1, Vicky. We don't talk about Curse. the game mode anymore. Curse. It's gone. <laughs> this Curse is our only mode. look at Overwatch 2. As you said, the beta is not available at the moment. So this is the fix that we all get to see. See Alpha Yi starting things off on the Reaper. We're going to call this a dirty bubble comp. I don't know, but we just saw an, uh, an anti <laughs> just get sniped from across the field here. Yeah, a bit of a yeet coming out there from Creative. I'm really paying attention to the fits right now that you heard Avril go on the rant <laughs> last series about how Sombra is not in a good place right now. Let's see if Fitz can really upstage it. Behind them, they're playing 4v5. There's a collapse from Hongzo as they're just rushing Ooh. straight into the soul. And the anti-bubble means that Smurf is going to be taken down. But not over yet as Hongzo oh. Spark are having to retreat for position and deal with Fitz. 
who's going to translocate back to safety, but Spock coming out strong to kick things off. Gets to see another day. You saw Fitz get put, pushed all the way off the map real quick there, but the bridge control is in favor of Spark as well as the bot, Mr. Roboto, as I like to call him. No, we've been talking about the push bot, but I ah, love to give him... <laughs> exactly, and you know what? If it's Rob, that could be his cousin out there too. Fitz on the Sombra, though, with Avril having uh, that, that tangent. I love how passionate he was about talking about the Sombra. Well, we can agree here. That's why we really haven't been seeing that much Sombra, but with Fitz starting off here, you could see that they've gotten some practice. They've been able to isolate Irony, who still gets to survive, does have Super Rich to help him out at the same time here. Now, Fai is going to be able to back up a little bit with another anti getting onto Vindame and Prophet. And that's going to be Irony converted there from Prophet with the Helix Rockets. Such a shame as well, taking them out right before they got the Nano Boost online. Alfie is getting into position. Huge need again from the Ana. This looks like it's Sol starting to take control of the fight. Oh, clutch bubble there to save Alpha Yi, but it won't keep him alive for too long. That's the performance we want to see from Prophet, who's rocking the Soldier 76. That's in a really strong position right now. Be difficult though. Fitz does have an EMP at the very least. He was able to control for a good amount of time, clear out that push bot. But with Smurf now taking care of Bernard, you could already see Vendame is going to try to taxi over Prophet right back to the heat of the action. While well, the Spark now have to try to regain control over this bot. Yo, shout out to Vindame's bow, by the way. A nice little bow in his hair. I'm appreciating. <laughs> Lining up to the next fight though, Vicky. Couple of ultimates on the board. I'm looking towards Smurf's Graviton Surge. Should be making an entry here. I think Fitz might kick things off with the EMP even get into a good position. More of a disruptor, not as strong as it used to be. Just biding his time, goes for the hack. Oh, not able to complete that one. Oh, they knew! And there's the Graviton Surge. EMP in the middle, finds four. Irony can still get the Nano Boost out if they need to in this fight, Vicky. A huge here, and even though he didn't get Irony, he still catches him at the very end with the hack, and Smurf with the follow-up on top of it all. Creative giving him over the Nano Boost to boost up that damage, to clear up the spark, and this is the shift of momentum that we really needed to see from the Dynasty here on push, because like you said, Trid, it's very volatile here. It could go back and forth, but it could be over in an instant here with just a little bit of momentum. I don't think the Spark have done enough here to get those forward spawns just yet. They're about to surpass their own marker. I think Spark can get out here and hold position. Like I said, they didn't use that nano boost that's available. They've given it over straight away. Bernard's become a bit of a raid boss. Ooh. He's walking forward. It's out for ye. Not in position to hit up with the grab. Doesn't have to do anything. The work's been done by the rest of his team. Just the grab and the nano boost to get that done for Spark, and here's the swingy nature. It's going back the other direction. It, it's it's like a pendulum. It's literally going back and forth here. But this is what I like. The bot isn't tired of this. He he's down for this cardio here, mm -hmm. and I really like the fact that they now <laughs> have the Tef Blossom online from Alpha Yi. But you gotta take your eyes and peek at Fitz, who is sneaking around the corner to try to isolate Alpha Yi. You can see him now trying to find the opportunity. He has found him out. He knows here with that hack that he's also got that Death Blossom, but he doesn't go very far. And the Zarya bubble to cover him cover him on top of it all now too. Oh, he just bounced off the wall a little bit there. Inefficient position for that translocator. Great TP from Alpha Yi. Trying to show Fitz how a teleportation is supposed to be done. Doesn't confirm any kills, but pushes Dynasty further away. And they're going to go ahead and lock those forward spawns temporarily. It's going to give them a lot of momentum in this map. Oh, oh, with the follow-up. Oh my on God, top of that, are you kidding me? He got the whole team with the EMP. You not got the support. Bernard is running for his life. And Prophet now is going to be able to move all the way up to try to at least continue on the pressure. But you thought that they had that bot right around the corner. And they had another thing coming if you're the Soul Dynasty. Yeah, he just dropped the EMP. Prophet's already lined up. He's got the spray on, then drops the Helix Rocket to find the double. Very efficient kills coming out from the season damage dealer for Soul Dynasty. Keep pushing it backwards. Good ground war happening at the moment, right behind the bot. Smurf versus Bernard. Ooh. Playing around cover really well. His shy nano boost. Attack visor. They haven't got another bubble spare, so he has to flee. Smurf's gonna spare one for himself. He runs straight into the loving arms of Alpha Yi. And this is just a slaughter field. That nano boost on the Prophet wasn't enough to save him. Clearance for the Spark once more. The Bob. I'm going to call him Bob even though that's not his name. <laughs> He's running away anyway until they cleared out Vindane. I'm sorry, I, that's not fair. I shouldn't be using the same name for multiple robots in this game. They are all different. They all have their own perspectives and experiences. You're right. Bastion is just another word for Bob there too. I like this I I idea here, Trid. <laughs> Absolutely not though. At the same time, you see him now just swapping over. See the spark now. Irony getting hacked over to the side by Fitz. 
Smurf's got that grab though. Gotta keep your eye on that as Prophet wants to take to a better position so that way he can really utilize that visor. Irony getting hacked still. Getting harassed on the oh, top of the bridge. Ooh, a nice anti there too, and Prophet gets taken down like you were just saying right there, Trid. Smurf gets taken out. Bernard now gonna be able to reverse this. Look at the damage output that he's putting down as Vendame meets his end there too. And a nice clear here for the Spark as they get to ra wrap around that next corner. Yeah, we've got two minutes left on the clock. I don't think there's too much of an outlier position that's been generated from either teams yet, so it's still very much uh, winnable for both parties. We will reach a point though where it becomes an uphill battle for one. Looking at the setup for the next fight, Prophet has the tactical visor. Fitz is trying to line up the EMP, goes for the hack on the Alpi. That will make them vulnerable. Forces out of bubble. So close to getting the ultimate online. They get control of the payload, start moving it back, and Prophet's on the hunt. But the rest of the spark have gone. They've gone, I'm a dip, I'm out. See you later, homie. And runs away. And that's all they need to do. They know they got some clearance with that bot going back anyway. It's now Soul Dynasty. Forced against it. There's that EMP, but they immediately lose fits for it. Profits on the back burner. Gate takes the high ground. They just give that to him this time around. He has to fight against the tactical visor. He then just locked behind all of these angles, Vicky. They're unable to find anything. I mean, Shy can just pick off these kills on the back line, on the front line, where, whichever line he wants to follow, really. Yeah, and with that EMP, unfortunately only landing onto Shy and Alpha, you saw Bernard off to the side just being able to bubble Shy. Shy had the visor there too mm -hmm. at the very end. It was a nice clean up there for the spark. And meanwhile, wait, Prophet wait, 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 is, is wait, 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 wait. still Prophet's still behind World, him. Mr. Worldwide. He is Mr. Worldwide taking legs to a different level here. He's going in for the flank. He's trying to go in for the sandwich, and he successfully finds Are Shy at the same me? time. Super Rich is also Are hacked. You kidding Are me? you serious right now? It worked. It worked. Prophet, Mr. Worldwide, making his way through the back line of Spark. <laughs> and they still find these trades, but this is even better as the bot now changes its course immediately. Oh, and Soul Dynasty, they needed that. They needed that, Vicky. Look how much tra distance they have to travel. They are so, they've got about 50, 60 meters behind Hongzo Spark that they're going to have to make up here. And of course, once we hit overtime, they die. It's all over. They have to do this in one fight. Ooh. And with Alfie with the Death Blossom, you got Burner with the Graphon Surge oh! online. This could be difficult. Proactive Graphon Smurf, but he goes down already. No sound barrier there for Super Rich. There too, it couldn't attack on to the Spark. And are you serious? They stayed off the bot there too. They couldn't clear it out on time. And the Spark, with that aggression, they are able to take map number one. So volatile on push, but what I really liked their trend was how back and forth we saw between the Spark and the Dynasty. Even a nice little cheeky flank that we saw from the Dynasty at that point. I, I just think that Prophet just went on the world's greatest detour around the world in 80 <laughs> days to get behind the spark and they didn't deal with it. He came in with his team right at the right time to grab the support he needed. He was pretty much frontlining in that fight, uh, but he was able to have that impact, shut down a couple of members of the spark and ultimately give them a foothold in that well, ultimately last fight. But unfortunately, as it's been highlighted a couple of times, you do reach a point, the event horizon of push, if you would, where it's really hard to come back from. It really is. Good thing, map number two, Dorado, something we're all very familiar with. It's gonna be Escort here, guys. Don't go anywhere. This is the Overwatch League, and we got map number two underway.
Welcome back, everyone. We are moving on to game number two here within our very last series in APAC. And it's nice to see Spark sparking things up a little bit. I mean, now they take map number one, and they have a lot of options here, Trid, if they want to sub in a new player. Yeah, honestly, I'm just still trying to recover from the first map. We know that push is a little bit swingy and it can go either way, but I think coming into this season, looking at what Sol Dynasty had in their possession, we're expecting Sol to be a very incredibly strong team this season, uh, up there challenging the likes of the Shanghai Dragons, but if you were paying attention to the entire broadcast, kind of expectations have been thrown out the window a little bit. I'm not willing to write off either team heading into map two, but it is, as you said, Vicky, really promising to see that the Spark are in a good spot right now, and we're also looking at a substitution burner out Gushui in and looking at what we've seen so far Vicky which is a lot of Winston in the APAC region and just in general it does not surprise me we're going to see Smurf and Gushui throw it down. Absolutely it's going to be monkey madness here in this lobby and I like this decision too because you take a look at Smurf Smurf individually is such a strong player I mean if anybody could do it Smurf absolutely can but I had my thoughts when it came to the Smurf Zarya so now that we could see Smurf in his comfort here against a, a player like Gushui the question remains, mm -hmm. can Gushue match that to Smurf? Because we know the potential that Smurf brings out here, but Gushue, I feel like mm -hmm. Gushue really strong in his own accord, has something to prove here when it comes to the, the monkey ditto. Oh, I remember, remember many an Overwatch World Cup uh, watching Gushue perform uh, before we had the expansion into having more Asian and Chinese teams. Um, and there was a lot of hype around him coming into that. It does not surprise me that uh, he still continues to be an incredibly strong tank player. Oh. Uh, Smurf is teasing me, but okay. let's focus on let's focus on the Spark for now. We've got Shy and Alfie going on to the Ash and Echo with the Mercy Pocket coming in from Super Rich. Now, we saw this on Ilios, I believe, in the previous series, and we scratched our heads a little bit at it, but let's see if Spark can make it work on an Escort-type map. Yeah, there was a few reasons why we were wondering, you know, the Ash. Uh, we've been seeing uh, a mm -hmm. few Ashes come out, depending on what maps we're going to, the long sight lines. Shy, of course, has Super Rich right here. And this is something that Super Rich mm -hmm. could bounce off of between Alpha Yi and Shy. You got two players that you could just continuously pocket, while also Gushui is right there mm -hmm. to help you reposition if Alpha Yi isn't available. So this is going to be interesting to see how this plays out for the Spark. Oh, I'm loving the Profit Tracer. Fits on the Widowmaker as well for the open. Gets a dink on the goosh way. Oh. For the confirmation, another headshot, but that's a big old monkey with a lot of health. It's not going to take him out for now. Let's see where the switch up comes for the Soul Dynasty. Fitz on the Soldier, are you surprised? Nope, not at all. That's legs for a reason. We saw what Fitz has the potential to do on push, but Gushui taking the high ground here. It's going to be up to Soul to try to take a better angle, maybe try to contest for the high ground there. You can see actually Fitz already wasting no time getting into position, but he sees Alpha Yi right in front of him that he's got to tack on some of that pressure. But Gushui now is going to be forced off of that high ground to clear some space over for the rest of Dynasty to move in. Beautiful pathing there from Fitz, gets the pocket in from Vin Dame as well, who's going to be the escort service moving them forward. Taking a lot of space and got them into the market already. Don't think they're going to have the impact they're looking for fighting against the Soldier 76. It's incredibly strong right now. They send Gujway through the window. It's not going to be able to clear him too far away because the legs is a slippery soldier as he will move away fast. See him now just backing off a little bit. I love this respect here, but look at these angles that the Dynasty is taking. Fitz already trying to get into a nice off angle. He sees Shy right up ahead, but here comes Super Rich immediately just trying to move away from the hands of Prophet. Prophet just putting in a lot of pressure while splitting some attention. Gushui gets put to sleep. He gets taken out. Alpha Yi, though, trades that for Fitz. Like this here as Irony did have that Nano Boost to help continue on that domination here as Fitz was the one to go down. You see Prophet still putting on some of that pressure over to the side, but no one trying to overcommit. Now Fitz to Prophets could actually dive in to follow up from Smurf, but everybody from the Spark is spread out so thin that it's difficult for the Dynasty to actually target down one player. I guess everyone's just all over the place. It's not a cohesive unit to really coordinate anything with. Everyone's got such mobility on this team. Oswald online for Prophet. Just looking for that backline. He saw a dash. He saw the Ana. He's waiting for the opportunity to do so. Here's the counterpart coming in. You've got yourself Smurf in the back of the field. Alpha Yi takes out Fitz once more off to the side with the focusing beam. In the pocket from Irony once more. Nano boost over to Prophet. He's online after throwing the Pulse Bomb away. Ooh. Gets shy down. Looks for the Mercy. He's going to count the court to stop the rev. But the Guardian Angel puts him straight into the whip shot of Vin Dame. And the Salt Dynasty get point A 
or open up the map. There's nowhere for you to run, Super Witch. Oh, super Rich. <laughs> Prophet. Super Witch? I, you know, I have the Mercy Halloween skin stuck in mine real quick, Trid. But, okay. you know, at the That's same fair. time, though, you thought you had a plan, and Prophet's was right there waiting for you, and he's still in the corner. He's waiting for Irony to come out from those spawn doors. He's going to back up a little bit. He's in the line of sight of Creative, so he's just going to continue pushing up a little bit to see if he could isolate anybody from the Spark. And I like what the Spark are doing. They take the high ground. They're leaving a very safe position for Irony right now all the way at the back. They don't know where Prophet is until he's just been spotted. They can make a few good guesses, but they just allow Irony uninterrupted with Prophet. is going to go horribly wrong for oh. them. His commitment on the high ground fits with a tactical visor. <laughs> oh, God. Spark have just been mowed down oh. right outside the facility. Of Dorado. Can we talk about that dive together, though? The composition that we are mm -hmm. seeing shine through for the Soul Dynasty. Prophet Smurf diving in. Fitz going in for the flank. Great angle to create a Soul Sandwich. But right now, Spark are trying to actually retaliate, get right back to this choke point. But they still got to do something about Prophet, who has been harassing the back line and has not moved from this position. I feel like they're just trying to deal with the rest of Soul Dynasty and hope that Prophet doesn't have the impact. Where they can do stuff like that, where they double pocket Alfie and allow them to go into fits. I mean, they can clear out, they can win the fights. They can ignore Profit if they can clean it up quickly, but these fights get elongated. That's when the problems start to rise. And Alfie Yi <laughs> able to just bring himself down to the ground, deal with Profit. But he was the last member of Soul to go down. And he needed all the help there, too. Like you said, the double pocket, basically. The Nana Boost, you got Super Rich right behind them, but you also got the Duplicate coming online soon. You got the Valk coming online soon. So it's going to be nice here to see what the Spark do while they try to hold on to that higher ground. You see Fitz now getting into position on the Widow. He's going to try to get a nice play that we saw going down day one of Overwatch League just last weekend. It was a really interesting series that we had seen Fitz now. Going to try to replicate the same thing on the Widow now. Try, just trying to go look down through the sight lines without trying to overextend. Are you feeling lucky, Spark? Do you want to poke Fitz when he's holding the angle? Mm -mm. I don't think you do. Unless, eh, unless you're... Sm mm. That's your goosh way, you don't really do that. Gonna see Smurf go over the top, takes a few shots before landing down. Isolated, <laughs> focusing beam for Alpha Yi. Smurf not having the support they needed to be able to be in that position. Duplication online. I feel like we're gonna get three monkeys on the field somehow. Oh, he's gone for the Ana clone instead. Alpha Yi opts for the healing option instead. Vindane will just walk the rest of the team out. Okay, Alpha Yi. We can see why you don't play Ana. <laughs> you got skills, but you don't know how to work with the don't know how to work with the fire and age just yet. You got the nano boost over the Gushway. Unfortunately, it's going to be timing out with the expiration of that ultimate Gushway. Just riding the lightning right now. Fin Dame goes down. He's going to go on the hunt with one minute remaining. Oh, Fitch, got to run, got to run, buddy. Use the grappling hook. He gets support and will stay up. But it's Gushway now panicking because the counter dive has come in. And Smurf, he gets bored. He goes off to find another option. Gushway gets that health back there too. So he gets to be saved. Irony also has the nano boost. You can see Fitz no now. Going to be able to have a sight. Going to be able to see where they're positioned by the high ground here. Because time and time again, Soul Dynasty, they're trying to take these different angles. But it's not working out for them. Alpha E has been popping off on this Echo. Nice flex DPS rookie. Really shiny. Gushway's put to sleep there too. And you talk about the duplicate. And you talk about the nano boost here from Irony. But Vindane and Creative get taken out. That's your backline that's out of the picture. And even Vindane making the quick swap over to the Lucio. That was Irony coming in with the Bionade as well. Both supports, I believe, were hit down by that. Couldn't get the sustain. And then Creative and Vindane got taken out. Luckily, Smurf had the panic button in the form of the Primal Rage to keep the fight going. But he's enough time for the reinforcements to come in as we're about to hit overtime. He needs to stay on this point. Profit's there to circulate. There's a lot of stall available for the Soul Dynasty. And if they start picking off players like Alpha Yi, it's going to open it back up for them. You got the rally, though. You got Super Rich now coming through. You see Gushui with the Primal ready as well to just delay what Soul Dynasty desperately need. Look at them hugging around the corner. They see Gushui right there, but he's just going to reset with that Primal despite the anti landing on him from Creative. Now, to match that, Smurf has the Nano Boost. You see him clearing, clearing out a lot of space. Yeah, the Rage. Yeah, the second Primal Rage that they you were talking the about storm. there too. And he could just reset immediately afterwards. So they're just trickling down at this point, Trid. Oh, they were able to win the fight without it. Profit 
playing cleanup duty once more on Alfie and Super Rich. Stagger irony, <laughs> but there's no point. They want to keep it moving. 1 minute 20 moving into the final section of this map. I think if we are going to see Soul Dynasty come out with the completion here, Vicky, they're going to end up doing it in overtime considering the time bank they have and also the ultimates available. Bob, going to burn down that time bank quite a lot. You've got a nano boost online, duplication coming up as well. Unless this is an absolute steamroll, I can see this being quite difficult for completion. Yeah, there's so much contention on, on the field, like you mentioned here. Mm -hmm. And when you have less than a minute now, with that payload wrapping around that next corner, look at this position from the Spark here, too. It's going to be difficult. It's going to enable Shy, but oh, it's not going to enable so Super Rich right there, too. Creative finding him and just allowing Smurf to just dive in on the high ground right there. The timing is impeccable from these two on the dive, Vicky. Every time they're about to drop down, get in position, the purple spreads across the field, cutting down all the healing and enabling Smurf to do what he does best, get in the back line and disturb everything. 25 seconds remaining on the cusp of completion and then not looking any closer to turning this down as Shy cannot get out <laughs> on the field. Gushway's nano boosted with the Primal Rage. He'll take a quick nap, but I think he's done enough. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Smurf at his prime. We know what he's capable of and nobody could even leave that little side room. He also finds irony. Prophet gets the stick onto Alpha Yi and Alpha Yi can't go away. They can't even contend. They actually managed to push it to the finish line, Trid. More importantly, Vicky, they did it with time remaining, 1.2 seconds as well. Ooh, I love all of this. I love the fact they were able to just sneak out with overtime. Yes, everyone will get time extensions if they both end up completing, but it does mean that Spark are going to have to go the entire distance to get another attempt on this map and stop the equalization of Sol Dynasty in this series. I already know that Smurf, the handshake with Creative, enabling him to go on the high mm -hmm. ground there to clear everybody mm -hmm. from the spark who had a plan, who had those ults to delay the Soul Dynasty. And it did not work for them because Smurf forced all of those players off of that high ground. Everyone has a plan until you have a Winston diving in your face. It's... <laughs> It can, it, it's a bit of a distraction, if I'm honest with you, Vicky. I think if I'm staring down a, a gorilla with a Tesla cannon, <laughs> I think that I'm a little bit on edge and not able to cognitively function to my fullest. I'll think to myself, where did my Uber driver take me? I have no idea where I am right now. I'm only <laughs> staring at Smurf, forcing you out. And then Prophet in your back line there, too, going in for a flank. Quite literally the sandwich that the Dynasty love. I mean, we heard it from the Dynasty themselves when they came out with that really mm -hmm. fire video. The same soul, but a new Dynasty. This is what I like to see here. But mm -hmm. Spark putting on a great performance. You can see Shy is going to be on that Widow seat. They could get a little cheeky pick right before they go through the gates. It has to be done. You have to go for it. You never know who's going to step out of line. Good chunk of damage given over. Keeping an eye out for a squishier target, but you're not going to find it. You just break the bubble instead. And you'll probably go switch over to... Oh, I imagine Shy is playing the uh, the Ash. He might go out for the Ash. We could go over to the Soldier. I really don't know which way this is going to go. Shy still putting on so much pressure from the high ground there too. Now trying to take a little off angle. At the same time, you can see Prophet still trying to find their way with Smurf though. Hand in hand, as we always do. Irony has nowhere to go. Dies in front of the spawn room doors. And Prophet's going to get away from that. Says, so, you know what? I will happily take that. And look who's right there as his insurance policy. It's going to be Smurf with the bubble. They did go for the resurrection there. Trying to get people back up sooner. But Sol have not been dislodged from this high ground. They need to send someone up there to deal with Smurf. Or at least put pressure out to on the map to force him to commit to another fight. And Shy going over to the soldier. That mobility and that damage is going to be useful at repositioning and forcing some attacks. But Prophet with the dash forward simultaneously on the dink onto Shy, who has not been allowed to play Overwatch today, Vicky. <laughs> has not been able to play Overwatch on this round. It's so unfortunate. And now even making the swap over to the Ash, you're going to want to try to take at least the high ground for right underneath Alpha Yi. You're going to also have that pocket from Super Rich, but you have to get through the wall that is Smurf and Prophet. Prophet is still on a terror. He's still trying to contest Super Rich, who's falling extremely oh low, but God, see no. Irony's right there to help him out. Ooh, we are so close to getting Super Rich out of the sky there with the Tesla Cannon. He wasn't able to stay on it for too long. They've given that Nano Boost over to Alpha Yi. Ooh, it looks like a one fight for the Spark. They're boxing them away, forcing them into the market. In this payload further down the line. Out and close to that duplication. We've seen oh. a lot of Anadupes coming in at the moment. There's the spray down onto Vindame. 
Shy more than happy to provide the assist there with that damage onto both of them. Nice little win right there for the Spark, giving them some space mm -hmm. here. You can see the Dynasty respecting that. Oh, not going to be able to clear the corner just yet, but Alpha Yi catching Smurf over to the side. He's got Primal. He can immediately reset if he needs here. The duplicate for Alpha Yi, he's here, so Mickey. little. I mean, look Who's at this. The duplicate for the duplicate. I mean, this is actually insane right now. We are going bananas, Trid. And Smurf now can immediately get right back to the payload while Fitz and Prophet are clearing everything else behind Smurf. Yeah, I was <laughs> unsure about that one from Alpha Yi. Like, you're going point blank range with Winston, who has relative safety with the bubble and a high HP pool. You're not playing to your strength right there, I feel. Oh. So to have that showdown and be like, oh, who's actually stuck in here with who? <laughs> and Smurf just comes out on top on that one. Like, it doesn't surprise me at all. What was extra funny right there was that Smurf was blocking that window a little bit too. So even if Alpha Yi wanted to get away, he had to go the longer way behind him <laughs> because he was like, wait, there's a big monkey blocking my way. Now you can see Alpha Yi making the swap over to the Reaper. We don't have a Zarya on board here, though. It's going to be up to Gooshway to just dive with him and put down that bubble for some safety. Well, Alpha Yi taking a few shots over at Prophet. I feel like he's going to get outpaced here. Might not be able to keep up with the pace of the action. Of course, if he can stay on the payload, force to contest and get free damage just like this onto Smurf. Big enough of a distraction for Shy to click some heads. That's two so far in this fight. The bubble doesn't last too long. And that's all of Sol being cleared out. Time Bank was run down, but they will get an extension moving into the next section of this map. Yeah, Smurf knew that he just needed to reset right there, too. Now seeing, though, what Sol has in store for us. You see Creative with the Nana Boost. You see the Rally online for Findame. And the same thing could be said here with Gushway having the Primal. Irony with the Nana Boost themselves. It's going to be... An eye onto Alpha Yi, and with Shai going to be able to delay the inevitable with the Bob, you know that they're going to want to take control over the high ground right here, Trid. Look at this stack up as well. They're getting ready for something big. They're going to emerge out onto the high ground. They'll still have all their mobility to play with. Now boost onto the Reaper into the center of the fight. They're highlighting Smurf. They want to put him under pressure, knowing that they're not able to escape from this chaos. Alpha Yi will have to retreat. Sol lose that high ground, and now they've got the supports up there instead. A very powerful position for them to be in. They can see a lot more of the action from that position. Now Spark are going to be able to take up that real estate. You see Alpha Yi dropping down a little bit here too, as Creative now is matched. Smurf just on his tail here too. About to get the Primal on top of it all, but here comes the name at least with the help and the peel, and now the Nano Boost onto Smurf to clear up that next corner. You have nowhere to run, Super Rich. I'm sorry here. Prophet was going to meet you on the other side as he was able to meet up with Irony. And now, the Spark need to go for another reset. I'm going to find an oil salesman. I feel like the ball bearings in his skates didn't move fast enough for him to escape there. Need to, like, grease up those wheels a bit. Maybe he could have got out yeah, there. Heelys. Max range on Smurf. Heelys? Who <laughs> Lucia rock the Heelys? I don't even know that. I feel, like, I feel like that's exactly what he would I feel like, I feel like that would slow them down a little bit more. They're less wheels mean less speed in my head. Oh, you know what? Very true. Very, very true. Now Smurf is going to dive onto the high ground. Going to get out of that sticky situation there. Doesn't want to meet up with the Spark over by the other side. Especially looking at the economy that the Spark have. Shy on the high ground. Sending up the Bob. Trying to force out the soul off of the high ground here. I don't even know where Bob went. <laughs> ah, there you go. He's nicely in the corner underneath the bridge. He's backing up out for you right now. Cutting off reinforcements from the soul who went behind Spark. Death Blossom's an option for them. He's not going to need it to take down Smurf. It's point blank. Prophet is around his dive buddy once more, but he's on the oh hunt for that my. giant monkey. <laughs> and finally takes him out right at the end. I think we got one more fight in this section. Looking at the resources for Sol. Eh, Pulse Bomb, Primal Rage. Could do it, but Alfie is in a great position oh. to just clear them off the point. Oh, no. That dynamite, they knew exactly where Prophet was. <laughs> oh, it was, it was extra beautiful. It was Prophet staring aimlessly at the no health pack. And a nice stick oh, there with the irony. That's huge. You will have the nano boost if you're the spark. You only have less than 10 seconds left, and Prophet is still terrorizing your team. Yeah, you have the sound barrier, but you don't have Alpha Yi. You don't have the Death Blossom. You have two players out here. Gooshway isn't even out there with the primal. You have Smurf tearing it up, and the Soul Dynasty take map number two. That was a panic beat coming out there at the end from Super Rich. I was genuinely convinced they were going to die mid-beat. Their health went so low. And that was just the aggression coming out from the Soul Dynasty to put the backline under pressure. That fight started, and both of the supports were still trying to do recovery breathing. They could not get anything together. And the fight fell apart for the Spark. They could not enable the Alpha Yi Death Blossom to come into play and clear some space for them. 
fantastic from the Seoul Dynasty, and they're going to tie out the series one to one. I absolutely love what I'm seeing within this first day of APAC trade. It's absolutely chaotic, and other than the first series, I'm not surprised to see how the compositions have been swapping up between a lot of these teams. Now, as we have a tied series on our hands between the Spark and Dynasty, we got map number three coming up soon, guys. Don't go anywhere. This is the Overwatch League. Welcome back everyone to the Overwatch League. We got map number three coming up soon here and it's nice to see the change up that we could expect from the Spark. Yeah, we highlighted it before we jumped into the series here, Trid, but we could expect Gushue and Bernard to keep making these rotations around. But what's great for us, Trid, is that from these changes, we could assume the Zarya, the composition that the Spark won map number one with, is definitely gonna be coming out. 
again, I'd love to see that on a more stable map type. I believe we're going over to, uh, I believe Midtown's going to be our next map. So definitely not as uh, volatile as what you see from a push game type. So we'll really get a good example of what the Zarya can do for Spark if that is what Bernard ultimately goes to play here, which we're assuming they would. I can't help but feel for Smurf, though. He's probably sat there going, oh, Spark, you got any of those spare tanks? I feel like putting my feet up for a game, see if, see if I can have some recovery. You know, he looks over to the sideline. He sees Gushway feet up being fanned uh, by the Billy Billy organization. <laughs> it's just, honestly, he's just living his best life right now. And the Smurfs out here are a workhorse on the Winston, which I'm sure we're probably going to see more moving into this next map. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see Smurf whip out the Zarya again, if that's the comp direction that Soul Dynasty are going to go with for this map. Yeah, I'm wondering how that's going to play out, because when we talk about Midtown as a map, one of the newest towns that we're going to see in Overwatch 2, there's a lot of those open sight lines. We witnessed it in the last series, actually, and that's something that I was able to note, where we had the Widows 1v1s, where you have a lot of that clear space around that next corner, where taking that high ground is key, but that next high ground that you approach the, the payload with on the other side that overlooks a lot of that high ground ground angle is super key in maintaining that aggression. So I'm wondering what we're going to be seeing. If we are going to see the Winstons, are we going to be able to see the cover around those corners? Are we going to see them try to force off either these Widows or the Ashes that we've been witnessing coming out from the Dynasty and Spark? Or are we going to be seeing the Zarya come out instead and still try to run what I like to call the dirty bubble? Because I, I feel like calling it the ghost dive is too edgy for me. But <laughs> that's that's what we get when we what, have Reaper what, involved. What, uh, not, not, to, not to put you on the spot, Vicky. Why are we calling it the Dirty Bubble? I don't know. Like, where, dirty, where is this name Dirty come Bubble from? sounds amazing. I don't know. It's Reaper and Zarya. It's dirty. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of filthy. <laughs> I, it, I'm trying to work out though. We got, a, we got a cleaner name for it. We, we see, we see Ghost Dive for from it Dirty too. Bubble that we don't want to be associated <laughs> with. So I feel like we can probably find something more efficient. But of course, Midtown, based on New York City, it's a profit taking the Soul Dynasty to go and visit their good old friend Jester, who got picked up in a coaching position at the New York Excelsior mm. this week. So I'm really curious for the NA games that we're going to see uh, later on in the day. Let's see if there's been any impact on the Excelsior roster. Yeah, for now, we'll take a little trip downtown to the Big Apple instead mm -hmm. here. Map number three. I, I'm thinking about so many different names in general for that comp here, Trid. I, I, again, I've been seeing the Ghost Dive. I saw the Dirty Bubble. I saw one somebody say Double Bubble. I don't know. I felt like that was a little cursed, but, but it does make uh, sense. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we uh, it's, tell you the what. Tort. Hashtag o OWL 2022. Let us know your suggestions for the composition name. At Vicky, at me. <laughs> I might read them. I don't know. Depends how tired I feel after this, but we'll find out. Looking at the compositions that Spark are rolling out with. So we are getting the Zarya from Burner. Alfie on the rollout with the Torbjorn. This is interesting. This is interesting. We mm -hmm. talk about controlling the high ground a little bit. I'm expecting that high ground next to the, the train carts are going to be contested here by Alpha Yi. Going to be able to help cover Shy there a little bit there too. We're going to have to see how this is going to work out because honestly, with Alpha Yi coming out with a Torb, I definitely feel like the Spark have a plan up their sleeve that's going to catch the Dynasty off guard a little bit. That's actually an accolade now that I think about it. If Alpha Yi in their Overwatch League debut gets a hammer kill, Oh, that's it. Yep. That's the peak of their achievement right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sign a medal for him just with his name on it. But he has to get it. That That's going to be the goal here. Yes. And first off, you're going to have to have Dynasty try to figure out a good rotation for it. They're already getting met up by the spark over by the other side. I like this nice little disengage here. Nobody trying to overcommit. Trying to get the location of where that turret is set up. It's good in the choke point, protecting both the supports on the high ground. It's a strong position to have. You can see how split the Soul Dynasty are. You got a forward and backwards operating unit. Nice sleep there. Onto Bernard, who's going to take a quick nap. Turret taken down. There's the dive in from Smurf, who's still sticking with that Winston. Controlling the staircase, trying to isolate. Gets himself back to safety. Tokyo drifting across the top of the train to get back there. I look at the quick reposition here from Soul. They lost out on creative, though, which is going to be huge. Smurf taking a lot of damage. So is Prophet as he gets taken out. May have to be a reset right here for the Dynasty. But the Spark were playing around the Dynasty's rotations. They were just counter-rotating them. And actually being able to regroup right there was absolutely huge. Heads on a swivel for Spark, who has been able to, as you said, Vicky, keep an eye on all the movements. Soul Dynasty, like I said, they had the forward dive. They had Fitz and Creative holding back in this high ground position they wanted to maintain over the fight. 
They're chasing down multiple angles now. If you look at where the turret is and where you've got Alpha Yi lined up, they've got two sight lines just focusing both entries of Avenue to this site. Got the Nana Boost online here for Creative. Also have that match with Irony over by the other side. You also have Bob online, but it's Fitz who's taking the lead here. He's got the Pfizer. Gonna ignore the Bob after Shot gets taken on immediately afterwards. Oh, no. But you can't do They're that to Gunnar. What are you gonna do? Where are you gonna go? He also had the Nano Boost on himself here as Irony was able to shoot that out from the back. And now with Fitz and Profit down, you, you and Smurf taking a quick little nap. Creative and Vendame gonna have to back up. Imagine being Fitz and sidestepping the knockup from the Bob, only to enter an even stronger raid <laughs> boss running you down and crunching you in the corner. A nano boosted Bernard <laughs> with high energy sat there. And also, if you look at the angle as well, where that turret is set up, that was probably also peppering him at the same time. I saw I keep bringing the turret back up, but don't get a lot of Torbjorns. Let's be real here. So it's nice to see one come out on the map. Molten Core available, so this will make this even harder to approach choke points as we move into the final minute of the map. Here we go, let's see. It's gonna be difficult to try to at least clear some of that space. You see Smurf, he's got the Primal, he's got the reset, and Dame takes care of the turret too. Here comes a grab attempt, but Prophet immediately takes care of Bernard at the same time. Everyone oh, was put together, no! and then you're gonna get taken out without using the Molten Core. Are you kidding me? Vindame called an ambulance, but not for him as he takes out Alpha Yi. Generating the ultimate as well. Doesn't even need to use the sound barrier. I think we might get one more contest from Huangzhou Spark. Burner switching over to the Doomfist just to get on and touch. Oh. The last second gets himself into position. Shy Spam fits. This opens it back up for the Spark. They're committing ultimates as well, Vicky. You've got the rally being popped in by Super Rich. Dragonblade from Profit takes out one support that they haven't dealt with the Brigitte. And then Molten Core on the field. It shuts down some angles, but ultimately I don't see Spark walking away with this one because Finn Dame is going on a fragging spree on the Lucio. This is crazy. They forced out so many ults, though, in that interaction just to desperately get this payload moving. They're going to make the swap right back. We, also, we actually saw the Doom real quick coming out from Bernard just so that way they can get right back into position. But this is a great look because you still have Shy Bob. You still have Irony out here with the Nano Boost. Meanwhile, all of Dynasty needed to utilize a lot of those ults. Minus Fitz was about to get Pfizer just to get that point. So much being burned there. I like Fitz's position, but he has to give it up here. Not a lot of support from that angle, and they have to give Spark this high ground territory for now. Nana Boost is available. Got the monkey just trying to force them away and create a path for the payload to be moved underneath, the obje underneath this platform. Spark, hold on for now. Waiting for the cooldowns. Fitz in a great shooting gallery position. He popped that tactical visor. Won't have the Nano Boost to help him. Ooh. He's going to have Alpha Yi go in. He's hunting down a lone creative. Not so lone anymore. <laughs> we get two of the fastest members coming to shut him. Alpha Yi goes back into chaos as well. Smurf, I think, was playing uh, distraction on the back line. He doesn't want to go down. Here's that tactical visor from Fitz opening it up onto the spark, but he does not get very far before he runs into the raid boss, Burner again. Oh, but it forces Bernard, Bernard off a little bit right there. The respect, the moment that you see Prophet also dive in, he's about to get the blade himself there too. I really like the fact that they were able to help cover creative at the end with Fitz taking that nice yes. angle. You were able to just have Alpha Yi in your line of sight. Alpha Yi getting anti Where was he going to go at that point? Now making our way through the car wash a little bit. This choke point is so difficult because the spawn's right there, but the Bob now can Shy as the blade yeah, no blade. been unleashed. Profit gets two. He takes care of Irony and Shy, even though Creative gets taken down. But he, Creative was still able to utilize that Nano Boost at the same time right before. Run, Profit. Oh, oh. Run. <laughs> oh, thank God, Super Rich came in there and got himself killed. Profit with the cut down after the healing came in from Vindame, who seemed to just be everywhere in this map. Smurf, I think you earned a nap. 40 seconds remaining, and there's the secure. Moving into the final section of Midtown. Once again, Soul Dynasty have a sizable time bank to play with. And there's no signs of them showing down. They can play very aggressively here with that beat from Vindame if they want to. But I think they're going to try and hold out and see what the Spark roll out with the initiation. They're going to have that blade on soon if you're looking at Alpha Yi. Bernard's going to have the grab. Irony's going to want to take a nice high ground, but a more passive position to try to build up that nano boost. And Super Rich is also going to be right there with the rally. The spark looking fantastic. Just minus shy without the visor. See Prophet though on the Reaper. He's looking to take a nice little angle shortly. See what damage that could be done here. But now you're playing a lot more close quarters in this last point of Midtown Trid. 
Wasn't able to sneak in that teleport there at the end. Prophet already spotted out. Really hard to contest that position for Alpha Yi. You play backwards, Fitz snipes him with the Helix Rockets. You're missing your Genji. Splat push the panic button, they get the rally down. Fitz moving into position. Waiting for something. I think he's waiting for the push to come through, but actually Sparker playing very patient right now, just staying where they are with the rally and keeping control of the objective. It's super important. They have less than a minute now, Trid. So you see the Soul Dynasty dropping around the corner with the visor, but they get caught in the grab. You got the sound barrier, but is it going to be enough? Look at this huge anti onto Smurf and Fitz. Smurf can't live through it, but Fitz does. He uses those nice legs to get out of that position, but with Profit getting taken down, it's going to have to be a reset for Soul because now they have less than 30 seconds on the clock. That would have been so much worse for the Soul Dynasty if Vin Dame didn't pop the sound barrier there. Yeah, sure, you can deny the healing, you can't deny the shields, and while Smurf went down, Fitz was able to stay up a little bit longer, but it makes no difference to Alpha Yi. Final fight here for the Soul Dynasty, I imagine, as we've got a Nano Blade coming out from Alpha Yi. All eyes on the Genji as we move into the final clash of this attempt. Less than 10 seconds now, they gotta go in for the contention. You see Smurf moving in. Nano boost online here too. Creative is also going to try to counter that, but here comes the blade onto Alpha Yi and the Nano boost and Shy's Vice. Just going to be all the damage in the world under the sun and nobody from the dynasty that can contest right here. Overtime taking away and Alpha Yi is still terrorizing the rest of the dynasty with a nice team wipe. I love what Alpha Yi did there. Immediately chose the attention over the Prophet. Closest target to them. Nano boost. Bubble goes over the Prophet. And Alpha Yi just goes, all right, psych two for flinching. Dashes to the back line. Takes out both the supports. While the rest of his team cleans up everything else. And deals with that empowered Reaper. Love what I'm seeing from the Spark there. They had that in the bag with the Nano Blade combination. Now the benchmark has been set as they move on to the offense. Yeah, we had our eyes on creative and that Nano Boost too that we had seen right there, but mm -hmm. with Shy also having the visor, Shy was just attacking mm -hmm. on so much pressure from afar. I love what I'm seeing right here. No time, no taking that panel to the finish line. Nice little fire truck. Love the change up that we get on Midtown. But what are we going to see differently <laughs> here? From the Dynasty, I mean, we saw the Sparks roll out with the Torb. Didn't really work out beyond that first point there. And then immediately retaliating with a changeup of composition that really rewarded them. No Torb, Satch. I d do you think, do you, do, uh, let's get let's get a realistic, let's get a vibe check on the Torb, Vicky. Do you think we'll see that again for the Spark, or do you think that was just them being silly on the day one? I think it was being being silly on the day one. I don't think we're going to see it. Right. Although it was, it was a good effort. You got the multi-core, but you couldn't even use it at the very end right there. Yeah, they, they were also wasting a yeah. lot of time, though. And I, that's what I really liked there, too, because it, it did go into overtime for quite some time, but they couldn't get that payload moving for so long. <laughs> well, here's the rollout for the Spark. Smurf still sticking to their guns on the Winston. Bernard's been a bit of a raid boss on the Zarya so far. Makes no change this. Well, even raid bosses need naps sometimes, Vicky. You gotta get like, well we're, rested. We're doing dynamic caster cursing right now. So, you, know? <laughs> you gotta Seth highlight and, it. Seth and Avril, they did it last game. They cursed an entire round. And now look at us. We're just making Bernard take naps for no reason. They're gonna emerge around the corner. Shy has to dip into cover through that bubble to get some healing. Great placement there from Smurf to cut off the resources. Shy, once again, not being given the freedom to perform on Soldier. Because Smurf just keeps diving at him wherever he oh, goes. Where do you even go at that point, too? Smurf now just getting out there. Going to be able to hold the corner of the room while Prophet takes control over the rooftop, saying, where are you guys going to be running to? You guys are cornered in this house here. See, now diving all in. Prophet and oh, Smurf in a nice little sandwich here for the Soul Dynasty. And they're going to keep going. You are just stuck in the room with no help here. And all of Soul Dynasty on your tails. That is the worst place you want to be against a Genji with resets. A corridor. Which is exactly where Smart compacted Soul Dynasty into. It was just Reset City. For, uh, um, for Prophet to be able to dash through there. He's getting close to his first uh, Dragon Blade, which will line up nicely oh. with the Nano Boost from Creative that just came online. They won't even need it, though. Fitz eliminates Shy before the fight even begins. Burns more time. 
Profit is going to have to hold on to that blade for a little bit longer. But there's so many options here for Creative. We're about to get a buffet available for the Dynasty. So there'll be a few trades in here because you're going to have all those resources like you were highlighting, just minus the sound barrier that Vendame's going to be able to get in this fight here. But same thing could be said a little bit here on the Spark side. You got Super Rich reaching that sound barrier to push in. Alpha Yi is close to that blade. You see Iron E now keeping shot in his sights too. He's got the visor, but the blade from Profit now as he dives in. He's trying to close in the gap. He finds Iron E. He finds Alpha Yi right before they can get anything going. At least Iron E, he keeps the nano boost. But look at this. Three, four members now out for the spark. They're going to come back with some resources, but some more time wasted away from their overall time ban. But that was so important there for Soul Dynasty to only use two of their six available ultimates in that fight. It creates a cycle as they still have one minute 30 to burn and they're going to be coming up against some strong oppression from the Hongzo Spark. Just going to point out as well, I'm fairly certain Profit got the kill onto Alpha Yi with a deflect from Irony. I think that's what happened there, unfortunately, if I was reading the kill feed correctly, um, which is unfortunate, but it happens. Hey, you panic, you try and kill him. Super Rich. Sussed out before the fight even begins again. They're hunting the Spark members before they can get set up. One minute remaining. You still have a few ultimates to use. At least Super Rich could speed boost his way back to the Spark. You got less than a minute, but that is not the first player that you want to drop down, especially with the sound barrier available. Here comes Nana Boost to open things up with Alpha Yi and the Blade. He backs up a little bit. He sees the opportunity. He tries to go into a contest smurf after the sound barrier from Vin Dame. Tries to keep the rest of Soul Dynasty alive, but they're going to be rotating through these old tier trid. Now with the visor from uh, a shot here, it's going to be difficult. Now Smurf has the primal. He's repositioning him, and Irony and Super Rich get taken out at the same time. A nice trade here, a two for two, but the rest of Spark are falling so low so quick. Right up until the end there, Vicky. Dynasty were trading up. They were answering Spark two ultimates for one in that initial fight, which gave them back the economy when it came down to ultimates. Yes, they're being hunted now. Yes, they're losing control of the, the site. But it could have been so much worse for them if they weren't able to escape away from Alpha Yi's Nano Blade. They're getting set up. We might have time for a recontest from Sol, but I think they're just going to try and go for Alt Charge rather than a commit here. Oh, they're actually... Oh, okay. I was like... Oh, oh, okay. Oh, they wanted to, though. With Smurf making the swap over to the Doom, they really wanted to stay contending there. But now this yeah. match just may give all the free time over to the Spark to control that next choke point. That car wash choke point being so crucial, seeing that the spawn point for the Soul Dynasty is going to be right beyond that wall. So they want to capitalize off of this repositioning. Vicky, do you know when you're a little bit late to a party and you walk into a room and everyone stares at you and you feel really awkward? <laughs> That's basically what Prophet just did there with the stall. There was no... You shouldn't have done that. You didn't have the time. You didn't turn up with your crew. You're just in there alone. You're asking people where the bathroom are, where is, where the drinks are, and everyone's trying to have a conversation. Prophet, man, just wishes he was at home playing video games. That's... <laughs> Wish, I wish they would have just given up that space. They didn't have the right to contest that. What's crazy there, Trude, is that I'm always late to all the parties that I go to. But it's okay. That's the Miami special. That's the Florida special here. Creative trying to get no, some... No, my, be, in Miami, being late is being on time. <laughs> exactly. That's the impression I get. That's, uh, that's why you have to lie about the time that everything starts. And that's what you have to see here <laughs> for some of the players that we're witnessing right now. alfie has got the blade ready. He's trying to find the opportunity to, to flag oh, out the oh. Creative. Are you Again. kidding me? And then fits on top of it. That's the cherry on top. Now Smurf is next on his sights. He's trying to get away. He can't leap away. And Alpha Yi now claims three heads from the Soul Dynasty. <laughs> what a what is happening in his debut match. Alpha Yi, believe the hype when comboed with this team. The spark stonks are going up. They're getting closer to completing point B. There's the blade not given the nano boost. And you can see what happens when you have one without the other. The rundown from Fitz. We have a little assist from Smurf as Prophet also was able to pop up their blade but not find any success either. Clearing out the last members of the Spark, but here's that tactical visor from Fitz. Can't go anywhere. He's grabbed up by Bernard. One for one with the trade. This is the Spark still coming out on top. Just need to clear out the Genji. You can't deflect the beam, unfortunately. Pocket is there to survive. Where is the payload right now? It's still being contested by Smurf with that Primal Rage. Actually insane here. It's finally wrapping around the corner, but Smurf taking a lot of damage from the front line right there. Less than a minute, but still time wasted away from Spark to try to get it to that finishing glowing box that the Soul Dynasty left the fire truck at. Don't worry though, they've got the completion here. Final section of the map, just over halfway to go. A little bit less time bank to make the same distance. Sparker eyeing up the series point 
Want to get themselves in a position of power moving through to our fourth map of the series. Smurf leads the charge once more, clears out the high ground, shines to the off angle. Right at the back, really leveraging the distance you can play out with the soldier. You can see that pink box of victory for them. So close, Vicky, as the dive comes in from Smurf. Such a tease right here. You see Irony trying to put down that anti onto Smurf. He's taking a lot of damage as he tries to back away. Literally the epitome of one now as the visor from Shy comes in, finds Vindame, Creative goes down. You have no sustainability. And if no, you're no, the soul, no, no, you have no. nobody stopping the spark from moving this fire truck along to the fiery, glowing box of victory. I think that's it, Vicky. They get this to walk this one in. Vindame's gonna try and stall, can't find the connection. And Huangzo Spark get to series points. The Spark are looking fantastic, splitting apart the Dynasty, preventing the dive to have the success that they were able to find on Dorado. We talked about it before. You have Smurf move in, you have Prophet in the back, you get a Soul Dynasty sandwich. Meanwhile, Creative helps enable them, but you could see right there that the Spark prevented that from happening on Midtown Trend. Yeah, I enjoyed seeing a little bit of Midtown here, Vicky, but as I said, it is series point for the Spark. We're going to go to a quick break. When we come back, we're heading over to Ilios, where it's last chance to loon for the Soul Dynasty.
Welcome back, everyone. The Spark are currently at match point. They need one more map, and they take it home against the Soul Dynasty. But we're getting, uh, getting a little bit of this back and forth right now, Trid. I like what we're seeing when it comes to the Zarya composition from Spark, and it definitely looks like this is what they're going to be sticking to, because it doesn't look like they felt confident having Gushui on Winston trying to match that with Smurf. That could be for a number of reasons. We don't necessarily put that on the individual tanks themselves. It might be how the team prefers mm -hmm. to play. Obviously, you, you know, playing with Winston is very different to playing with Rosaria. You need to be able to jump in and be much more mobile and keep up with the pace of action that a Winston is being able to put in. Whereas the Zarya, you have the benefit of being able to keep the pace with the tank a little bit easier and it allows certain different hero picks. So while they might be favoring Bernard over Gushway right now, that is not an indictment of Gushway's ability to play the Winston against Smurf. It's just where the Spark are right now. I'm loving it. We still not got a replacement name for Double Bubble, so keep sending us the suggestions. <laughs> Some of you were trying. I appreciate the effort. We not found the one just yet, though. Maybe we might default going back to double Dirty Bubble still. That might be what we stick I with. Like Maybe it. there is no better. Maybe Vicky was onto it. Maybe Vicky was there and she was right the first time. Who knows? Uh, it, it, it's a, it's a nice tribute to Dirty Bubble, the one and only arc enemy. It's a mermaid man and Barnacle Bully. And it fits perfectly with what we witness sometimes <laughs> <laughs> to what we're seeing from the hey, spark. I ain't beefing. I ain't beefing with some... Like, I'm not beefing with marine life. Vicky. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing over in Florida. I see some of the articles sometimes. I'm not out here fighting... Uh, fighting creatures on the I mean, have you the seen ocean, the Florida you know? Mayhem? I mean, come on. Of, of course, you talk about creatures out here. We, the, the beasting, beasting you actually. You just call, hey, 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 hey. Don't, <laughs> I, don't, you, don't mean, you disrespect I mean those, nasty. don't disrespect them. I call I them mean, creatures. they are great. That's what I mean. Monsters, okay. monsters right, is okay, the better yeah, word for it. Up. But also, right, I, as a fellow Floridian, I could say that we definitely do have some uh, strange headlines that we get to see. But can we highlight the fact that we're seeing Bernard roll out on the Ryan right now? Hongzu man. Rolls out on Rhyme? That's a headline that we need to be seeing right now. It's <laughs> Bernard leading the charge a little bit. Chaotic Soul Dynasty giving him a lot of space and playing behind him for now. We'll have to step up to the big Germanic Overlord in a second, though. The point will unlock and kick things off. This is crazy here. The only time we got to see this a little bit was from London. Fits on the Sombra here again. This is going to be another attempt here, very similar to what we had seen from Push instead. Shy doesn't have the bubble, but Super Rich getting hacked over to the side. You can see Fitz now trying to get into a nice off angle, but Shy catches him off guard. Now the control here for the point goes in favor to the Spark. Hold it down quite quickly. There's a teleport coming in. Immediate bubble to keep Profit up. He's going into the face of Bernard with those shotguns. But from Alfie finds a path to the back line. A good turn there from Irony. Oh. If we're going to keep on the fight. Profit taking a nap. There's Alfie with the cut through. Finding his second. Looking for the oh. tank line. Alfie continues to deliver. And I'll say it once more, Vicky. Believe the hype. Billy Billy Gaming have found a superstar. They had to take the, the hack to prevent another dash. Alpha Yi really putting himself on the map. One of our rookie MVP players coming through really to shine on the spark. I love what I'm seeing here. Love the resets. And now Irony has the nano boost at the ready here. A lot of the spark looking great in terms of economy, but they have to keep their eyes on Fitz, who is creeping about and he does have the EMP coming out shortly. Locked in that corner. Fitz now has the EMP online. Soul Dynasty struggling to find a foothold in this series. Putting a lot of attention onto Fitz's EMP, I imagine, but it was a good backhand. He's <laughs> got them stemmed the bleeding for the time being. And the EMP following up afterwards. Does not look like they're going to be successful at shutting it down. As Shai comes back with the Death Blossom. Oh, no, 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 my friends, as Spark get back in control. Remember what Avril said earlier about that EMP? Well, yeah. there you go. That's why. The Bath Death Blossom still comes out strong and clears out that point. Come on, come on. <laughs> are, are we saying, are we saying that, like, I don't know. I feel like Avril was maybe being a little bit too extreme by saying Infrasight <laughs> was more valuable than the EMP. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. mean, it is valuable. Like, you get a lot of information. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to put it that low in the pecking order, if I'm honest with you. You got those individual actions. You get the nano boost as well. Oh, the nano boost and then the sound barrier to actually Bunker down here. Alpha Yi now is going to be able to try to tear it up with the blade. See if he gets an opportunity. He's found Smurf. You had the sustainability for so long, but here comes Prophet with the Death Blossom. Takes care of three. Fitz finds Alpha Yi. And the rest of the Spark, it's going to be cleanup season as the Soul finally get to put their toes on this point. Left to stop us. 
That was every ultimate thrown in apart from the nano boost. I'm pretty certain that 11 alts were put into a blender and the juice that came out was a victory for the Sol Dynasty. I don't know how, how else to describe what just happened there. A little bit of sensory overload, but it's fine. Sol Dynasty at the last hurdle they're facing against the 99% right now. Need to ride this to victory. Irony's nano boost is going to kick things off, I imagine. And give that a cheeky donation over to Shy. He can play much more aggressive in the tank line. He's hacked up for now. Might need that support. Could be used in the emergency situation. Giving it over to Alpha Yi with the rundown of the Vindane. Finds the second oh. support. Doesn't need the Nano Blade to have the impact. And right by his side, Bernard is there to support. Overtime flip, 99%. We're going to see the store come from Profit, but Vicky, for me, this is the spark taking the first round of Ilios. It was Prophet that did the double down and noticed that there was no health pack to reset to and said, you know, <laughs> you got this right here. This spark were able to cover so much. Even Smurf at the very end there, you saw that Alpha Yi just waited, didn't even want to take the chance. Smurf recognized what was going to happen, even though he already used up his own bubble. And unfortunately, they're going to get cleared off of the point. Again, love the different sorts of compositions that we have been seeing roll out from the spark. It's really been helping them out. But specifically, the Zarya comp that has been up their sleeve. Bernard really popping off here. I want to see if we uh, have some variation from Bernard. Moving on to the D.Va. Could be... I think it might be the first time we've seen D.Va today, Vicky. I'm, I'm trying to go back the archives of my mind. It's only been day one. Let's see if we have the rollout here. Still time to change. Bernard, D.Va, let's go! TP coming in mm. from... They were just getting ahead anyway. I was worrying they weren't going to put a Symmetra out on the field. But we're going back to the Ash, which has been a bit of a question mark for me today. A lot of love for Ash in the APAC region. At least if you're super rich, you have a lot of hands that you could hold here. A lot of options, just as the name <laughs> does too. On the lewdest of actions. It's, it's beautiful because you can see both teams now taking both sides of the field here with Shy having the ability to find profit. Vindame actually went for that in front of Alpha Yi. I mean, you have nowhere to run at this point too. If the focusing beam, as Fitz, gets to see another day. But with Bernard on his tail, you're not going to get very far. Look at Bernard popping off on this Diva pick. Are you serious? Getting a 3k right off the bat. And with Spark taking control over the point, here first red this is momentum speaking for itself want to see what some bombs can do from banar they're happy to block this one easy dm there to keep irony safe don't think they're under much threat at all there now if you just sold dynasty you'll smurf onto the zarya to keep up and move into the play fits on the soldier 76 i like that they've moved away from the sombra i don't think it's having the value that they're expecting and now if they have the soldier, at least they can challenge at distance Alpha Yi and Shy. <laughs> Shy has other ideas, because, well, that's a little bit of dynamite thrown into the mix. Follows it up with a headshot onto Profit. That's both damage dealers down for the Soul Dynasty. And they just kill all attempt at this push. They have to back off once more. And we're across the 50% line. Vicky, 50% separates the Hongzhou spark from the first victory of the season against the Seoul Dynasty, and I did not expect that to be the result coming out of today, if I'm honest with you. Neither did I, but I know Costa is having a field day right now with this. Had all the faith in Spark for all the right reasons. Again, they just have so many uh, pawns up their sleeve that they could really utilize in terms of the different players that they could have out on the field here. And Irony now has that nano boost. See Profit now on the tracer that we saw find so much success, but this is a problem! You have to deal with Shy. Are you serious? Again! Now you have the Bob as a sixth player. What gamer we playing might as well be Overwatch one with the way that Alpha Yi and Shire playing this with the Bob out on the field and now the rest of the cleanup is coming through for the rest of Spark. What is happening right now? You're already reaching nearly 90% and the, and the Soul Dynasty can't even touch the point. Irony and Shy are making this feel like six players on Huangzhou Spark right now. The diff that's coming in between these two teams on this round. Final fight for the Soul Dynasty. They do not want to go 0-0 to kick off this season. They said in the video, new soul, uh, same soul, new dynasty, I believe. <laughs> They're getting ready for it. Overtime taking away the Nana Boost here. Super rich as well as the Valk as he gets hacked here. Alpha Yi trying to make the plays. He's got the duplicate ready here, too. Trade advice with oh, the Nana Boost, Vicky! And he, now he's going to be able to dive in here, too. Now gets the reset, the duplicate on top of it. Shy actually gets res in the process. 99% for Spark. And Who's overtime, talking? nobody. Smurf gets taken down. Karina tries to get back in. But you still have the Spark cleaning you up with the grab from Alpha Yi on top of it all. All of Spark clear out the soul. And the Spark win our last series of the day here in APAC. 
What an amazing start for the Spark. Bringing in all these rookies. Their time spent in ch the Contenders China. Paying fruition. You love to see a bunch of upstarts making a huge debut. Alpha Yi's played fantastically. Irony and Shy there in that final round were absolutely fantastic. Spark Stonks going up. I love it. I love seeing all these rookies shine, honestly. Just seeing the way that we've been having our rookies pop off in North America, now doing the same thing in APAC. When you take a look at Spark, we talked about it before. All these rookie players are coming from Billy Billy Gaming onto the Spark roster, and so they're bringing in that synergy that they've already built up within their time in Contenders Trip. Absolutely, and it wasn't, a, I don't think it's particularly a bad performance from Sol. I think there's some questions around the composition they're yeah. running on here. I think we're all pretty low on the Sombra right now, and played it on a couple of maps and wasn't really having the impact. I think Prophet hasn't really lost anything from his game, which is always good to see transitioning from Overwatch 1 to Overwatch 2. Uh, same thing with Smurf. I think Smurf's been quite phenomenal as well. Definitely looking stronger on the Winston, I would say. But once again, need more data before we put that on an individual or the comp that's forced by changing that tank. We got to highlight one player, though. Above them all in this series, it's got to be Alpha Yi. We highlighted the rookies, but Alpha Yi was popping off. The follow-ups that we had seen from Alpha Yi in general, looking between the Echo, we saw the Genji pop off. And this was interesting to see how the Spark were just able to adapt around Dynasty, because they knew that Smurf was going to come out on the Winston. But the overall, Alpha Yi was destroying the Dynasty, specifically the back line. Yeah, I... Lots of fun here on the Echo. A little reflect there. Wasn't the headshot we were looking for, but I think the Genji was far more impressive for me, watching him just pop off and be able to dash oh, yeah. and reset. Oh yeah. Really enabled by the rest of his team as well. I, you know, I'm, I'm every time I'm talking about a damage dealer doing something well on the Spark, I'm also throwing irony into that contention. I think it's very rare that you didn't see some kind of assist coming in from that man when the damage dealers were going full throttle in this series. Yep. Very optimistic now on the Spark after seeing that debut. Yeah, I, I really like the way that you saw Alpha Yi pop off uh, between Bernard and Gushui, even when we had Gushui out on Winston. Um, the follow-ups that we had seen from Alpha Yi and even the following from Irony being on the Ana, the Nano Boost, the Blade, even sometimes you didn't even see the Nano Boost get put onto Alpha Yi before he was still able to get those dash resets and still clear up so much space. Well... We're going to go to a quick break. When we come back, we're obviously going to take a look and break down the action from that last series. The Overwatch League is brought to you by Upper Deck, the official trading card of the Overwatch League. And by TeamSpeak, the official voice supplier of the Overwatch League.